is going by Dan. I'm fucking checking out King Buffalo Repeater. This comes from Matt. Appreciate your homie. If you guys have any requests, as always, just hit me up. All right, let's do this. Been a while, feels like, since we've heard some King Buffalo. Let's check this out. This one's a long one, so I do expect a lot of sound changes, maybe some genre shifts. They do that sometimes. I'm still looking to try to find a song that's even in the same world as Mammoth. I really love Mammoth. Great song. Uh-oh. This is about to be trippy. Seventies vibes already. So you never really know what their sound is about to be. to the 70s. Some Doors vibes. in the mood, that's all. Dimming the lights. bass line too. You listen to the bass the whole time, at the end of the fourth bar it, do, 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 do. really nice. Repeater. I'm gonna keep this melody going.
I like this song. This is good so far. Still has the same melody, that kind of heart, the, the heartbeat pace in the back, but now it's just picked up intensity. effect on his guitar. This melody here, like with no vocals, kind of sounds like something Bray Wyatt would have come out to. R.I.P. But it does. The lantern. I can see it. Delicious distortion on the guitar in that one. I just love as all hell is breaking loose with the guitar, the, the effects on it, the distortion. All hell is just breaking loose. In the background, 
the bassist just doing his fucking thing. The same thing throughout this entire song. Just jamming away while all hell is breaking loose over top of him. Same thing. We got a little switch up here. been really good with build like they build tension very well very well and they don't they never rush it they let that motherfucker really just slowly simmer Winding down. Good stuff, man. That was a good song. Good stuff. That's their best song since Mammoth. That's their, so technically that's the second best song, in my opinion, I've heard from them. That was good. It was right up my alley. This is, I always, this is where I like them. This tempo, where you just let the singer slowly and methodically cook. And the bass, the bass, I would say the bass is the star of the song, but it's not. Now, it's, it's the glue that holds the whole damn thing together, because he does not stop that rhythm until basically like the last couple minutes when things really pick up, I think the rhythm changes a little. 
I think it might speed up, but that's about it. But the guitar, the guitar is the star of the song uh, of this of this song. The guitarist got to, especially the second half. Once we hit about the halfway point, they let that guy absolutely go bananas, and in all different types of way. I'm assuming there was two different guitarists kind of cooking there, because one had extremely heavy distortion, which was awesome. It, it brought a whole different, like, heavier vibe to the song. And then you had a regular guitar that also had some effect on him, but it wasn't the same level of distortion or some other type of effect. Alan was the same guy, same guitar. I have no idea, but it fucking worked. It worked. He stole the show. Like, this became his song for the second half. And I've noticed with, with King Buffalo, once you get a guitar solo, like a, a, a prolonged one, not like a mini solo, but like a real long one, the singer's done. He is not coming back. Like, don't even, like, think, oh, are they going to bring, is this going to lead to the, the chorus again? It will not. That is not how they operate. <laughs> That's not how they handle business. Once the singer's wrapped up his portion, I'm not, maybe the singer's also the guitarist, so maybe he's, like, focused now on being, doing the guitar. I'm not sure. But once he's done doing his thing, the guitar just gets to own the whole rest of the song and just cook. And they gave him, like, what the guitar get six minutes, five minutes of it just being his song? Singer no longer involved? It worked. I also liked how it's called Repeater because every day is exactly the same. He mentioned that multiple times. But then, for the final, I guess you'd call it chorus, for the final one, he mentions how every day was the same. So you feel like time has passed. I like that, man. Little details in a small one-song storytelling device. You just by saying was you and changing a couple other uh, lines of the chorus, it feels like a passing of time, even though it's just one one simple song. Good stuff, man. That is their second best song. Still, Mammoth is above it, just because. It's not it's not a slight on this. That's more of a compliment to Mammoth. Mammoth is awesome. I can listen to Mammoth at any point, no matter what my mood is. I can be pissed off and listen to Mammoth. It'll chill me out. I can be in a great mood and listen to Mammoth. Only makes me feel better. <laughs> it's one of those songs. It's got a good vibe. But Repeater, good stuff. Really good stuff. Let me know what you guys think down below. King Buffalo. Repeater. I also like it says Repeater twice. Repeater, repeater, because it's repeating. Whatever. Whatever! Maybe I'm thinking too, too much into it, but that, to me, it, to me, it was clever. It might be nothing, but to me, it was, it was clever. <laughs> it's probably completely on accident. They probably didn't mean it at all like that. So I think King Buffalo is kind of smeared on this thumbnail also, twice. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I might be overlooking, like thinking too deeply into it. But repeater, repeater, I don't know. Thought it was clever. 